Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is a pathology video on hepatobiliary pathology. This is the fourth in the series of videos on cirrhosis. The topic is biliary cirrhosis. This is by Dr. CSBR Prasad, Professor of Pathology, Sri Devrajaras Medical College. And coming to the other uh, cirrhosis, that is biliary cirrhosis. So, disorders of intrahepatic um, bile ducts come under three categories. One is secondary biliary cirrhosis, primary biliary cirrhosis, primary sclerosing cholangiitis. And uh, in biliary cirrhosis, symptoms are due to stasis of bile, and uh, this uh, stasis of bile results in or the accumulation of uh, bile salts within circulation and the patient's usual complaint is intense itching. So, pruritis is the manifesting feature in biliary cirrhosis. In addition to that, these patients will have jaundice, which is again a um, conjugated variety of jaundice, and uh, they may have malice, dark urine because of bile pigment, and light uh, stools because less bile is entering into the, uh, into the small intestine and there may be associated hepatosplenomegaly. So if you recollect the classical cirrhosis wherein you will you'll find shrunken liver, nodular liver, here in biliary cirrhosis uh, uh, contrary to the, even though there is fibrosis, contrary to the expectation the, the liver may be enlarged, hepatomegaly may be present in the case of biliary cirrhosis. So laboratory findings I told already. This is, a high, this is an example for conjugated hyperbilirubinemia and one of the markers of uh, biliary cirrhosis is uh, it is obstructive type. So the uh, person suffers from uh, increased concentrations of uh, serum alkaline phosphates which is usually three times the upper limit of normal uh, in for the particular type of methodology. And increased bile acids can be appreciated in the serum and hypercholesterolemia and the deposition of this uh, cholesterol in the, in the subcutaneous or uh, in the dermal deposition which is known as chancellasma and uh, you may demonstrate the anti mitochondrial antibodies in primary biliary cirrhosis. So important uh, pathological findings um, before uh, cirrhosis develops, prominent uh, bile stasis in bile ducts and bile ductular proliferation. So, if you recollect the histology of uh, classical cirrhosis, there uh, the fibrosis, fibrosis which runs across the liver and with, which are broad in uh, nature, and there may be bile ducts, but not very prominent. Whereas in the case of biliary cirrhosis, uh, this uh, bile duct proliferation occurs. We will see multiple biliary radicals in the fibrous tissue. In addition to this, there may be neutrophilic infiltration and uh, portal tract edema. So dense lymphocytic infiltration in the portal tracts with granulomatous destruction of the bile ducts is common feature that can be appreciated in the case of primary biliary cirrhosis. With the prolonged obstruction, there may be inflammation and periportal fibrosis and hepatic scarring, bile duct proliferation, nodule formation, which is uh, seen in other varieties of cirrhosis, and ascending cholangitis is one more important finding or complication of this biliary cirrhosis. And uh, extra, extra hepatic biliary passages are unaffected, only it affects intrahepatic biliary passages. And um, because of this, even though we call this as cirrhosis, patients are comfortable and they can lead a very normal life without much complications for a quite a longer time than the classic variety of cirrhosis. So, morphologically, there is hepatomegaly contrary to the expected uh, uh, shrunken liver and liver shows yellow-green pigmentation, intensely pigmented. So, green, um, if you recollect the earlier images, green liver. Green liver is one of the features of biliary cirrhosis. They are firm to hard and uh, fibrosis is broad bands dividing the liver into small, uh, varying size of lobules, which fits into each other. So, jigsaw puzzle pattern of uh, liver nodules may be seen with uh, fibrosis in the case of biliary cirrhosis and extensive uh, bile ductular proliferation, 
bile legs and hepatocyte degeneration of the morphological features of biliary cirrhosis. And uh, special features of biliary cirrhosis, we should not forget that it is an autoimmune disorder, primary biliary cirrhosis. It is an autoimmune disorder. And one more important point is elevated ALP in the family members. So, if you are thinking of biliary cirrhosis, if they show the elevated uh, ALP in the family members, uh, uh, then you should think of the possibility of autoimmune etiology in the case of biliary cirrhosis. Other findings like weakness, pruritis, and hepatomegaly, arthropathy, is, uh, spider nevi, these are all uh, may be seen to be associated with any cirrhosis. So death due to liver failure but occurs in a later stage. And there is increased levels of um, risk for the development of hepatocellular carcinoma in biliary cirrhosis. So biliary cirrhosis on the left is the normal cut surface of the liver. You can see that brownish colored and without any fibrous bands and without any um, I mean, uh, nodularity. Whereas on the right side, you can see the intensely greenish pigment and uh, fibrosis and nodularity imported to the cut surface. And again, green liver. So if you see green liver, possibility of biliary cirrhosis or extrahepatic biliary, um, I mean, agenesis, extrahepatic biliary passage, agenesis, or biliary atresia, we call them as biliary atresia, should be thought, thing, thought of. And here you can see that intensely greenish colored liver with um, the fibrous bands running around. And the ultrasound or CT can show you this uh, fibrosis with a central or uh, targetoid um, areas, targetoid areas, which is commonly seen in the case of biliary cirrhosis. And uh, look at this uh, cirrhotic liver, the uh, liver lobules, or sorry, liver uh, aggregate, liver cell aggregates, and uh, you may see the fibrous band running around and within the fibrous sector there are many biliary radicals. So this is very typically seen in the case of biliary cirrhosis whereas this, uh, this many biliary radicals may not be seen in the case of classic variety of cirrhosis. And uh, in the autoimmune variety of uh, primary biliary cirrhosis you will see the intense lymphocytic infiltration around the biliary uh, radicals which may be destructive. And sometimes granuloma formation can be appreciated in and around the biliary passages. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by clicking the button subscribe.